Good morning, my stamping friends. I'm Diane Evans with stampingwithdiane.com. I'm an independent Canadian Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in the interior of British Columbia. So if this is one of your first times joining me on my YouTube channel, welcome. Make sure that you do subscribe and also make sure that um, you hit the bell and you'll get notified immediately when I go live on um, my YouTube channel, which I happen to do quite often throughout the week. So anyways, um, today I'm really excited because I'm actually doing something that I've never done before. Um, I practiced a little bit, but um, this one, I, I, I'm kind of happy with the way it's going to turn out, but there's going to be more in the future. Um, there's other ways that I want to do this and I'll be able to use more. So what I'm doing today is a loaded envelope and I'm using the Symbols of Fortune uh, suite. So you know what, without any further ado, let me just jump on down um, to my desktop. So this is the Simple Support and Designer Series paper, and this is going to be the main part of what I'm doing um, for the loaded envelope. So I'm going to be using lots of this different stuff, and we're going to decorate this loaded envelope. So I've decided that I'm going to use these two and maybe a tiny bit of this one as well. So let's get going on this, and you'll see how it kind of comes together. Unfortunately, I don't have one made, so um, not entirely made. So I just want to go ahead and let's get doing this. Now, this is a piece of the 12 by 12 uh, designer series paper. I'm going to have it go. Let's see. I don't think there's any right or wrong way to this. So what you do with this is I want to. Um, I'm going to score on this side because what I want to do is I want to fold into the mountain. So when I fold into the mountain, it's going to fold in this way. No, just wait, that's not right. So I'm just going to go at three and three and a quarter inches and I'm going to score this. So let me just bring that haul down and I'm just going to score the whole thing. I'm just going to turn this completely around and we're going to go at three and three quarters on this side. Now, I decided to go even. I wanted more of a space to um, load this envelope up. So it's like that. And then what we're going to do, and I'm going to come and score this again. But what you're going to do is you're going to fold this into the mountain like so. And we're going to use our foam folder to get a really nice crisp fold on here. So we're doing it like that. And then what we're going to do is we are going to fold this part back just like this. And I'm doing this first because you'll see what I'm what exactly I'm attempting to do here. And I use that word loosely, attempting. Okay, so it's just going to go down like this. And then what I want to do is I want to do a tiny bit of stamping on here, but you can see that it's actually going to be upside down when it's going on there. So I've also gone ahead and I have used not only the Crane of Fortune um, stamp set, but I'm also using the Bamboo Beauty stamp set. So I'm just gonna go in and I just want to stamp some of these beautiful bamboos, stalks. And because it's, let's see, it's coming down like this, I want it to come onto that part. Let me do this again. It's coming here. So what I want is I want the bamboos to come down like so. So what I'm doing is I'm just going to put this piece of cardstock in like this because I don't want it to come onto my designer series paper. And let me just go and I'm just going to stamp. You know what? I think I want to bring this one down just a bit. There we go. So just like that. And I'm just going to put that right onto there. So see, that's giving me kind of kind of the bamboo sort of look. And I think I might even just put, um, just clean this off. And then we will, I'm going to just put a third one on there as well. So let's just do that. And I'm gonna come in and we're just going to ink up this part, the bigger one there. All right, so that's just going to go in like so. So that's going to be part of it. 
Then I also kind of wanted the crane to be on this part here. So I've got that on a thing, but you know, I don't know if it's going to be completely on there. So I am also going to come in and I'm going to put another piece underneath here. Now I could have tipped this around and done it in such a way that I could have done it upside down, but trust me, I was not getting completely. So I'm just going to put that there. And see, this is just going to give that illusion here of the crane and that. Now, not a lot of this is going to show, so I'm kind of lucky that it's it's not going to show in that at that point. Now, also this, I think it's a chrysanthemum on the um, Crane of Fortune stamp set. This one here, I kind of want it to be put. It's going to go there, but I don't want it to be exactly in the middle there. So I've just got that stamped, just like that. And that's just going to give us a tiny bit of a background there. Um, like I say, you're not going to see a whole lot of this particular part. Now, the other part that we're going to do is I am going to go ahead and put the tear and tape across here. So which way do I want? Do I want this to go down? Um, okay, I'm going to put the tear and tape right here. Like so, and then I'm also going to put the tear and tape on this side because I want that to stick down as a pocket. Just come in with my take your pick tool and let's just take this off. Just like that. And we're going to take this part off as well. All right, so we're just going to come in and put those two pieces down together and then that kind of gives us part of the envelope. Then what we're going to do is we are going to go in and we're going to fold this up or we're going to score it at three and three quarters. So now, of course, these measurements can be different for any size that you want, depending on how you want to do it. Now, this to me is the easiest one to do. I'm dying to do the other one with a bunch of expandable pockets. All right, so that's at three and three quarters. So that just goes and folds into the mountain there. And I'm just gonna come in with my foam folder. Just like that. And then what I'm going to do is I want this to basically fold up so that I've got room to put stuff in there. So I'm gonna come here and put some more tear and tape right along here. Now, if I didn't want this part of the pocket to be open, I could have um, closed that up there or I could put it across here. But I wanted this pocket so that I've got an extra pocket. So let me just go here, take these off. And then just to give it, so we've got some wiggle room, I'm just coming in and just loosely putting that down there and loosely putting it down on this side. So what that's done now is I've got a pocket in here, I've got a pocket here and I've got a pocket there. So now what we want to do is we want to go in and decorate our um, envelope. Now I've got lots of options that I basically have here. Um, so I've just got a bunch of stuff and I thought I'll just go ahead and start cutting. Now the only gold ribbon that we have is this fine art ribbon. It's probably going to retire. Most of our ribbons do retire. So I'm just going to actually put, I'm wanting to put this along the bottom. So I'm just going to bring it about here. You know, I'm going to give myself lots of ribbon. So I probably have about 
30 inches of ribbon on there. But that's just so that I've got some extra playroom with some stuff. Now, I don't want to actually put that down yet. Um, but what I could do is I don't want to attach it because I don't know exactly where I want that part to go. But I'm going to come onto the back of it. And I'm going to put some tear and tape onto the back. So where I decided to put that ribbon, let's see, I'm just going to get this right in the middle. So it's going to go right about there. So I'm just going to add some tear and tape. Now I want to make sure I have the right side out. Yep. And I'm just going to put some tear and tape along here. And that should be about the length of that it is. So let me just tear this part off. And like I say, I'm kind of going as it as I'm going on here because I want to make sure that I can put a bunch of different stuff inside this. Now I haven't got that part completely done, but I can give you some ideas as we go. So I'm just going to take this up like this. And now what I want to do is I want to come in here and I want to just place this and I'm thinking about in the middle. So let me just put that across there. And then now we have that ribbon so that if I decide, and I didn't quite get that in the middle, but we'll be okay. I want to be able to give it that wiggle room that's there. All right, so I do have some things that I can put in there. I have my um, spiced pecans. So I think what I'll do is I'll just come in here and I do have, I thought I had it here, is a stapler. So I'm just going to go in there and then I'm going to decorate this pouch as well. And then you'll start seeing this come together. So I'm just going to put those. I also have some of these chocolates and I'm going to try to get them flat. And these are actually gluten-free. They're delicious. They're called a tuxedo cake chocolate. All right. So we've got that to go on there. So let's go ahead and start decorating that part of the stuff. So what I have here is I have a piece of black cardstock. And what I want to do is I want to have it like a, um, you know, um, a bag sort of thing on there. So let me... Let's see, what have I got here? Got a bunch of stuff here, so I'll just bring some of that stuff out. And I have some of this designer series paper, so I'm going to put that on there. So let's put this together, and then what I can do is I can just decorate, um, attach it to that part. So let's just put that there. And let's see, I have another one that I've got. Let's see, I've got one in, hmm, thought I did another black one here. I'll have to maybe cut one. And then I've got a bunch of all these different um, things here to put on here. So I think what I'll do is I'll put one of these on and maybe a gold. Yeah, that'll work. And that's all it's doing is just giving a tiny bit of decoration on here. I had this sorted kind of in my mind and it didn't quite go the way I wanted it to. Let's, see. Let's just put that there. That's, we're just going to leave that like that because I have a few other things that I want to do and I'm not sure what I want to put on there. Okay, the first thing that we want to do is actually put something on the front. Now I've gone ahead and I've made a rosette and I did this rosette. I thought it would be great to do a rosette in black. Um, I showed another video that shows how to do this. I've cut this out. This is out of the layering vellum that's from the Artfully Composed. You know, I'm going to cover this up, so I'm okay to put that glue on there. So let's just put this onto here. Let's 
And then I think I could also put a gold one on here and we may have to cut some more stuff out of here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and layer this on as well. I'm thinking that, there we go. And we're just gonna hold that in place for the time being. And something else that I turned around and also did was I also used that same vellum and I, this isn't going to stay on here. I may have to use glue dots or let's just hold that there for a bit. I also used that layering vellum and I went and I did gold embossing on the crane and we're going to go ahead and put that crane right there and see this is going to go right across the front here to give us that that look on the front of this loaded envelope. Like I say, I think there's more um, stuff that goes into this loaded envelope than um, what's actually going into the, the thing itself. Now, because this is embossed, I can go ahead and I can also raise this up. This is not something that you're actually going to... Um, you would not send this in an envelope. You would definitely box this up. So let me just do this and um, put these out of the way. And let's see, one more dimensional on there. And I don't seem to have my little minis, so I'm just going to cut this off here. Just do one of these and put that in there. Here we go, and we'll put that one down. So, and see, you won't see those dimensionals on there. So let's just put that across there. And see this because I haven't done that there, but this is going to go onto this part at the very end. And I, like I say, that's where that's going to go. So that's giving us the illusion of that. I've got this one on there. Now let's go ahead, put this on this part, and then you'll kind of see where it's, well, where these things are going. So I want another piece of um, the tear and tape. And that is silly. The tear and tape was right here. There we go. So I'm just going to go ahead, put this onto here and onto the back. And we can put this onto either the almond one or the, um, the chocolates. There we go. It's just going to go onto here. So, and see what I mean? This can go in this part here. We just sort of stick some things in there as we're going. So then I also have, um, let's see, I should have another one of these cuts. So that was three by four. So let me, I will cut some of that. All right. Now, I also have um, something that I thought would be kind of cool to make is I have um, a post-it note cover. So I've gone ahead and I've measured this. I think it's eight and a half by three and a quarter. And I've scored it at three and three eighths and three and seven eighths and then seven and three eighths, I believe. No, seven and five eighths. Um, but this is just going to be like a matchbook um, thing. So I'm just going to come in and I'm putting this upside down like so. And then I'm going to just decorate this. So I've got some black and I've got this to go on there. So let's do that. Like I say, I'm kind of popping all over the place because there's so much to put onto into this package. You could put... Um, a lot of pampered goods in here. I've got a bunch of stuff that I want to do for a kid's one. So let me just put this one on there. So this is just going to go there. Oops. 
so I'm going to move that down just a tad. And then I've got my post-it notes to go in there. So let's go ahead and just put some of those in there. Fortunately, I didn't have the right color to, um, my goodness, that's not going to fit in there. All right, so let's put that in there. And then this is just going to come like this for the post-it notes, like that. And then let's go ahead and get a piece of black to go across there. So I cannot believe that I've misplaced that other part there, but that's okay. We can go ahead and put this black on there. So we are going to use our scoreboard again and that's three and a half so we're gonna go let me just cut this off here so that's three and a quarter so we're just gonna do this about a half an inch and three and a quarter so we're just gonna do that to three inches and that's just going to kind of decorate our oh dear there we go we're just going to put this across here and you know it should have been more so I'm going to actually three quarters maybe there we'll put that amount there and three and a quarter three inches so this is going to cover up that one piece of the um, the staple and this is like a matchbook cover, right? For our post-it notes. We're going to put some decoration on there as well. And then also we want to do another one of these covers. So we are going to cut for our pecans. So we're going to come in. We're going to do it six inches by four inches. Well, actually it's three what happens what's what's the size on this this is four by six so I'll just go four inches by six inches stored at three inches and that's how I'm making that pocket for or the the cover for the um, um uh, the pecans so that's just going to get scored i've taken some gold and i ran it through the splatters one so let's just put this on to here no nope, let's put this on to here so I'm getting all this stuff ready to put in this loaded pocket let's put that about like there And then I thought that we could even put this piece on there, which is a crane um, on there. Or what we might do is just put some of this on there as well and not make it too. And I have a bunch of the other stuff as well. Okay. So we've got that, we've got this to go on the front. So once we know what everything is that we're doing on here, because there's a bunch of these things too that can go on here as well. I think that might be just a really nice small addition to that. I don't know where all my other pieces have gone. Okay, so let's start by kind of looking and seeing exactly what we want to put on here. So this is going to go onto here. Let's put that on with my tear and tape. Another piece with the tear and tape. And we can finish decorating that at the end. So like I say, you could put things that would be pampering yourself or you could put things like um, 
emery boards in there. You could put some chocolates, some other chocolates in there. You could put um, some smaller things, you know, where it can basically... Just put whatever you want to put in there. So, like I say, this is going to go in here like so. So let's put that one in there. Now, I've got all this other little goodies that we've got to go in here. So I also thought it would be really nice to have some of these polished dots in there because they kind of go, they go along with the sweet. So why don't we put some of those in there as well? Make sure that that's down. I have some stuff that I thought that this would be really good for a crafter. So I have a little easel that I'm going to put on there that they can put their own um, name on there. Now, another thing is I'm just going to actually put this, you know what, I can take this one out and we can put this one in here as well because it's giving me that extra room, right? Put that. Now, let's go ahead and let's put, I don't know where all those little, little bits are. Okay, let's put these on here on the post-it note thing. I have these cut out in black too and in the vellum so I'll probably find those after and I can do that after so that's going to go in there that can go in this part right there and let's see I want these dots to go in here And then we also have where we can put in things like, you could also do things like a hand sanitizer in there. So let's go ahead and let this can go in here. And let's put this hand sanitizer. It's going to go in this part here as well. This is not fitting on in here as well as I had wanted it to. You may want to go on a, inner side this is why I say on my other one it's really amazing what the other one um, shows so let me just put this black onto here and like I say this is such a great gift idea um, kids Easter gifts are what I'm thinking all right so we've got that we've got this to go in here Oops, that is not on there properly. So let's just hold that for a bit. I want to do a bit of a tag. This is going to go into the back here as well. All right, so I want to do a tag and I want to do um, the one um, from the fortune. This crane of fortune. So I want to do this much luck and good fortune. So I've got that here and I'm going to ink that up with Bursa Mark and then we're going to emboss it with um, gold embossing powder. What is it? This is the grateful one. I don't want grateful on there. I want to put much luck and good fortune. There we go. Let's put that on. That on there like so we'll put that into our gold embossing powder so let's put the lid on that because we don't want that to spill all over the place because I do know how I do that We'll just quickly emboss this. I know a lot of people go, oh, embossing is such an old technique, and I, I, I don't really like it. It's such a neat technique. 
You know what I mean? It's one of those ones that you can do so much with it. Now you see, I didn't get much of it off. So what I can do is I like those little splotches on there because I think it adds to it. So let's go ahead and let's put this on here. I'm going to actually put that across here. Now when you're tying a bow, the best way to tie a bow so that it works is to turn things around. So I'm just going to turn this upside down. Like I say, I kind of changed the way I was going to do some of this stuff. So that always seems to happen. I'm tying this at this side. Oops, look at all the stuff that's in there. Oh my goodness. And then I am going to go ahead and I am going to put this on with Taryn. You know what? I've got a circle on the back. I think what I can do is we'll just put a lot of glue on here. I'm going to let that sit for a bit. This is going to go right in here. And what I want to do is this comes here. And this is just going to go right here. And I'm just going to hold that there for a second. And I sure hope this person appreciates it, whoever's going to get it. Um, I'm going to turn around and just sort of trim this off. This does fray. And you know what? This could go right across here. Um, it could go right across here as well, up on the top. So let's go ahead and put that in there. And there's our loaded envelope. Um, like I say, they could do lots of other decorations. I've got lots of other things that are here that are available to put on it. Um, you could add more stuff. There is another way that I'm going to do this in the future, and I'm hoping that you'll stay tuned to, um, to see that. Um, it, it's kind of a fun one. It's, um, it's, um, it'll hold um, a lot more is basically what it's going to do there. So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I enjoyed making it uh, and a loaded envelope. I, who'd ever heard of that? I mean, obviously there's a lot of crafters out there that have done it, but I've never done it before. So anyways, make sure that you've subscribed to my YouTube channel. I hope that um, you hit the subscribe button and I hope that you hit the bell and you get notified immediately when I upload a new video. So um, also if you live in Canada and you don't have a demonstrator, I'd love to be your demonstrator. Um, I have a very generous reward program, and I would love to um, let you take part in that. Anyways, you guys, have a great day. Bye for now.